But just a quick overview on services. Um, as you know, uh, the services team are forging a path in which our services combined with products enhance the functionality, improve quality of service uh, and solve problems of complex complexity, cost and availability for our customers. Uh, the IoT communication as a service suite uh, combines true global connectivity um, with a fixed priced MQTT network um, with MQTT Anywhere working seamlessly in 190 countries uh, and then a range of um, complementary products um, all based on MQTT. So our latest addition then to IoT communication as a service is MQTT Flex. Um, we will be announcing this product on the 10th of November. Um, the goals of the product are uh, primarily to expand the addressable market of, uh, of MQTT Anywhere by allowing customers to bring their own connectivity, their own SIM cards um, to, uh, to, to use uh, rather than um, having to use the, uh, the ThingStream IoT SIM. This will also allow us to expand our market reach to regions where there are per permanent roaming restrictions, uh, address projects where there are local authority defined connectivity restrictions, um, and to bridge the radio technology gap um, where uh, slow progress on MBIT roaming agreements um, can cause some, some issues. So in terms of the market and the fit for Flex, well, this fits pretty much um, you know, all of the uh, use cases that you would see for MQTT anywhere. Um, so asset tracking, um, sensor readings in, in agriculture or, or industry, um, condition monitoring, uh, basically any device uh, which is running in a constrained uh, power sensitive environment uh, that needs end-to-end -end secure bi-directional comms, um, sending small payloads um, across 2G, 3G, LTE, LTEM networks, and for customers who need a, a global coverage with just one single SKU. Uh, MQTT Flex will bring uh, the ability to use that with any cellular connectivity, uh, of course, in regions where there's roaming restrictions um, and those projects that we mentioned with, um, with local authority restrictions, um, which we'll talk about in a bit more detail in, in the following slides. In terms of the unique selling points and highlights, well, MQTT Flex uh, gives you the flexibility to choose your own connectivity uh, and combine that with all of the advantages of uh, IoT communication as a service. So you can keep the relationship with your preferred network operator. Um, you can operate in countries where you wouldn't otherwise be able to, whether that be for roaming or, or MBIT requirements. Um, and you still get all the long life and low power um, features that the MQTT SM protocol brings. Um, you also keep the predictable cost and on-demand scalability, all the devices communicating through uh, the ThingStream uh, platform, the delivery platform, uh, using that same MQTT broker and of course all of the, the flows that sit behind that um, all work in exactly the same way. So you can combine Flex with all of the other um, IoT communications and service products um, to fit your, uh, your enterprise and your, your, um, your fleet of devices. So features and benefits, well, we talked about keeping the relationship with your, with your operator. There are some customers who, who have that, uh, that arrangement, that, uh, that relationship with a, with a local MNO um, and want to hang on to that, um, but still uh, want to be able to take advantage of MQTT SN and all of the low overhead and power saving benefits that, that brings. So MQTT Flex allows them to do that. In addition, there may be projects where um, the local authorities demand that you use um, an in-country MNO. Um, we see this often with things like um, metering um, projects uh, or other kind of smart city type projects where um, either the, the government of the country or, or the local authority um, will have certain uh, requirements in terms of who is allowed to provide the connectivity um, for that service. Um, so up until now, that meant that we couldn't play in those um, in those uh, opportunities, but now with the addition of Flex, we can. Um, customers can uh, can take advantage of, of all of the uh, all of the good things of uh, of um, 
our communication as a service product, um, but keeping that, that SIM themselves. Something else that we're seeing uh, pop up um, is countries which do not allow permanent roaming. Um, there are several of these, uh, Turkey, uh, Brazil, um, to some extent Australia, um, although that, that can be addressed uh, potentially with payment of a, of a license fee each month. But um, those additional fees can often um, make the, uh, the MQTT Anywhere product um, not that attractive commercially. Uh, so MQTT Flex breaks down that barrier um, and allows you to use uh, local uh, SIMs uh, to get around that uh, permanent roaming problem. And of course, if you have um, devices which, uh, which are not going to operate in those countries, you can use the MQTT Anywhere SIM and have everything still funneling through uh, the same flows and the same processes, um, which helps uh, reduce that, uh, that burden and cost overhead for the customers. Uh, it also allows customers to leverage MBIoT networks. So we see a number of use cases, again, looking at things like metering, where um, devices require deep penetration uh, in building or underground. Um, and so MBIoT uh, is a solution which is nicely geared uh, to, to meet those needs. Um, but the roaming agreements are still very slow to come out. Um, we're seeing you know, a handful now which are available um, but still few and far between and operators are, are not keen to um, to kind of relinquish the, the MBIoT business uh, to roaming. They want to keep that uh, for themselves to, uh, to get the most uh, in terms of, of revenue from that. So we can imagine MBIoT roaming agreements will still take some time to, uh, to mature and become properly available. In terms of uh, the communication, of course, Communication as a service uh, is all based around the standard MQTT protocol, uh, lightweight, bi-directional comms, which brings um, long life and low power to IoT devices. Uh, this is all built on top of our scalable, high performance, uh, high availability MQTT broker um, and the all powerful data flow manager, um, which makes it really easy for, for customers to get data uh, into uh, into enterprise systems uh, while um, maintaining uh, the, the the battery life and, and, and low power requirements on the device. And finally, we have uh, maintaining our fixed uh, low cost price plans uh, based on number of MQTT messages that are consumed. Uh, there are no uh, fixed contracts that customers can activate, cancel, and suspend devices anytime they like. Um, giving them complete control and predictability on the cost of their solution. In terms of pricing, how is it going to work? Well, uh, as with all of the other um, communication as a service uh, products, um, there will be no contract for this. Um, it's completely pay as you go. Um, you can enable and disable MQTT Flex devices whenever you like. Uh, you can swap between the plans uh, if you need to. Um, and everything is based on the number of MQTT messages that you consume. Uh, we've modelled the price plans to uh, mirror those that are available with MQTT anywhere. Um, so the 500 message bundle, 2000 message bundle, 5000 and 12000. Um, and the prices uh, are then starting from 10 cents for the 500 bundle, going up to 80 cents for the, the 12K bundle. And that's of course, the number of messages, MQTT SN messages per device per month. Um, this gives you access into the um, into the platform with all of that uh, high demand, high availability uh, MQTT broker, um, and uh, and access into the uh, into the data flow manager. So that's everything that we wanted to cover on this uh, introduction to MQTT Flex. Uh, thank you very much for your attention uh, and have a great rest of your day.